the sevens is very new to me. I mean, I hadn't played it before at all. So I think before the, before the training, a few weeks before the tournament, it was, it was my first time playing. So it's a bit different to the fifteens, but it was it was it was a good experience. Yeah, brilliant. And after and after us, probably a disappointing start for yourselves. You, you certainly cause a, a bit of a eyebrows to be raised when you beat the Australians in the, in the, in the next round yeah we did I mean um, we started well I mean which is we, we, the, the Australia win was great um, we played Portugal the, the, the same day then I think I think the bodies were a bit tired after that you know I mean we weren't used to the fitness aspect of it I think I think the other teams were, were playing were playing they weren't training as much you know during that week and I think seeing as we hadn't played much we were training a lot more and as, as a result, we were a bit tired, you know. Yeah, obviously, with the, the conditions very, inten- very, very hot, I mean, intense heat, or was it uh, something that was? As far as yeah, I mean, <laughs> obviously, uh, obviously, the Irish claim it wasn't, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't a good, a good practice ground for us. But um, we had a week in Portugal before we went out, so I mean, we were, we were used to the heat a bit at that stage. So yeah, it was, it was hot out there, but I mean, we made the best use of it we could, you know. Well, we noticed about the time a huge crowd at those at that at that uh, uh, competition. There was, yeah. Um, I mean. It was it was a huge difference in the AL where I think most of us most of us playing day in, day out you know with our clubs, but I mean it was a great experience to play in front of huge crowds like that. Like I mean you know a lot of the fellas hadn't been used to it, so it was a brilliant experience. This is my first time. Uh, this is my first year in it full time. I was in college for the last four years, and uh, I mean I, I finished last year, so it's my first year in this year full time. Really enjoying. It. Well, you're a, you're an academy player. Was it difficult to, to combine your rugby with your with your studies? It was. Yeah. I mean, it was very. Um, it was taking a lot over the last four years. I mean, I was, I was studying a chemistry degree, so as you can imagine, the hours are quite tough. So, but I mean, I, I managed to, managed to do the four years, and I mean, I'm, I'm glad I did it. No one able to concentrate in the rugby, you know. And it's a full time. It's full. It's all. It's all systems go for your rugby career now. You've, you've got your degree, and it's. It is. Yeah. God, I mean, it, yeah. I mean, I've practiced studies now for a while, and it's drive on from here, you know. What's it like working with the likes of Agaras and O'Connells and the Dougie Hellets of this world? Oh, it's brilliant. I mean, as a young fella, I mean, I grew up watching these fellas on TV, like so. I mean, to be able to get a chance to train with them and play with them, I mean, is a huge honour. Like, and hopefully it'll go on for another while, you know. Obviously, you're in a strict re- regime here of fitness, but when you're not in, in the off-season time, how do you how do you maintain that fitness? What do you do during the summer? Yeah, I mean, we've 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 a few weeks off during the summer, so I try and relax as much as I can during that. You know, wind down a bit, and uh, it's, it's important too to get the rest during the summer. You know, so I mean, I try and relax as much as I can, get away for a few weeks, and drive around from there after was the pre-season. You know, what sort of what other sports do you are you into being cork man? You have to be. I'm a bit of a rebel at heart. Yeah, I, I go to the odd, uh, the odd hurling game and I'd be spotted on the park as well, watching the championship. So yeah, I, I really enjoy the GAA, like and soccer and tennis and golf and all the all the usual ones, you know. And you're in, into an intense period now with uh, Munster. Next couple of weeks, hugely important games. You got uh, Glasgow this weekend, followed by Leinster and Heineken Cup. Exciting time for you. It is. It's brilliant. Yeah, I mean to be involved in the setup at the moment, especially with the win at the weekend in Six Nations, is brilliant. You know, I mean. It's coming to the business end of the season, so a lot of it's getting serious from now on in, you know, and we're training hard and hopefully it'll be exciting, you know, it'll pay off. If you were, if you were given a choice, if you had, somebody said, I'd I, I swap your career, would you do it? I wouldn't, not in a million years. <laughs>